Timber rattlesnake is possibly one of the most misunderstood snake species encountered in West Virginia. The WVDNR is asking the public to become involved in a scientific research project aimed at determining the current distribution of timber rattlesnakes in the state. The timber rattlesnake is the only one that we actually have this citizen science project on. We are kind of concerned about some other snakes. In the state we have over 20 different kinds of snakes. Most people in West Virginia hate timber rattlesnakes. Uh, they are venomous, they, they can bite you, but they're very, very docile. A lot of animals like to eat snakes. They play an important role in food webs and food chains. The timber rattlesnakes primarily feeds on rodents, feeds on mice, chipmunks, squirrels and that. And a lot of mice carry diseases that people can get. There's hantavirus, there's Lyme disease on ticks. So rattlesnakes are really beneficial, as are other snakes, because they're controlling the rodent populations. There's very few diseases that snakes can give to people, but there's a whole bunch of diseases that their prey can give to people. So it's good to try to maintain the rodent population. In West Virginia, we have a lot of rattlesnakes, and that's primarily because of our forests. West Virginia is approximately 78% forests, and rattlesnakes need that forest as part of their healthy ecosystems, and they live up high in the mountains uh, where there's not a lot of people. So other states are asking us, how can we be like West Virginia and protect our rattlesnakes? In other states, they are actually endangered. In West Virginia, we think the populations are holding their own, but we want to educate folks not to go out and kill them just because they are snakes. Rattlesnakes need the continuous forest. They need a lot of out, uh, outcrops of rocks. They live up high in the mountains. And when people come, the first thing they do is they have to settle that area. So they fragment the uh, landscape. And most animals that are in trouble, it has something to do with the landscape. The landscape has been lost, it's been fragmented, or it's been destroyed. So if you think of an endangered or threatened animal, it's not because it's overhunted, uh, it's usually not because of pollution or anything like that. It ha usually has to do with habitat loss, and habitat fragmentation. A lot of animals can't handle that, and as a result, their populations decline. Scientists are just now discovering their venom, like all venomous snakes, when you think about it, their venom is like a drugstore. It has all kinds of components in it. And scientists are taking venom from rattlesnakes and other venomous snakes, and they're using that to help people with all kinds of problems that people have, trying to educate folks that rattlesnakes belong out in the environment like any other animal, and they're not going to harm you. If you're walking down a trail and you hear a rattle, just stop, look where it's coming from, and just walk around that snake. It's very, very rare to get bit by a rattlesnake. Whenever they see one, they can just get on our website, they can take a photo of it and send that photo to us and we'll verify that photo. And they can be one of the hundreds of, of people that have seen rattlesnakes and reported it to us. In the DNR, we don't have the manpower to go out and search everywhere. So we're relying on hunters and fishermen and hikers, bikers, anyone that's out in the woods. If they happen to see a rattlesnake, let us know and just look on our website, it's very, very simple. It's under report a rattlesnake, and they can be part of this scientific study, part of this citizen science program. For more information about the West Virginia Timber Rattlesnake Conservation Program and other wildlife, visit www.westvirginiadnr.gov.